Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about how to fetch all the contacts from the MailChimp using the Node.js. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that we have a contacts that is eight contacts, I suppose. Eight contacts and this is the list of that contact. So I want to fetch all that data into with the help of the MailChimp API. So let's see how we are going to do that. So dive into the code level. So here we are going to create a new file, which name is fetchcontact.js. Okay, so here I'm going to create that one, right? So fetchcontact.js. So here we are going to add our code. Okay, and I, I will explain each and everything. Okay, so let's word wrap this and understand so first we will replace all the details so here we have an api key so let me add the api key and the audience id i require so audience id and the api key I just copy it from this one and just replace it over here your audience id okay and here we need to update the url also so here we go with the url so let's add this one so here we have a, a fetch contact. So let me update this URL. Okay. This is done. Fetch contacts. This is a get the API URL and this authorization we need to update. So here we go with the authorization. So let's put this one. Okay. This is done. And let's see all the contacts response data dot members. Okay. So let's save it and try to run and check the data is here or not. So node update, no, 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 update of fetch contacts, right? Fetch contact dot GS. Let's see. So here we have the fetch contacts. So context first one is Magento developer email address. Okay, so first record is Magento developer then test 90. This is first one. Okay. Then we have a second record test 90. So this is test 90. Then we have a test 901. Then test 901. You can see that we have fetched all the details and see that we have a contact ID also. So this is contact ID. So you can, if you want to update that one, you can use this ID to update that first name, last name, whatever you have the details. Okay. So this is how we are able to fetch the contact list from the MailChimp via Node.js API. Any doubt, any query in that, just do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.